Yo, welcome back to the show everyone. It's good to see you. We have a whole bunch to discuss about this doozy of a chunk and how we plan on getting through all of these giant hurdles with a little bit of luck and determination. So let's get right into it. Let's make sure we know our chunk goals. First things first, for our chunk goals, we definitely have to get that 35 cooking. That's to make a jug of wine. We also need a smith, a bullseye lantern. That's gonna require 49 smithing and we're gonna need 40 thieving to thieve a guard. Now these are all some pretty huge goals with not a good food source, not a good way of training these goals and not a good way of getting these bars to train the smithing. So let's talk about my plan for that. So smithing is pretty much just kill a whole bunch of dwarves and get their bronze bar and iron bar drops all the way up until we get 49 or super heat ore, which will make things a little bit faster. Now, an estimation of a metric fuck ton of dwarves will have to be killed. And if you want me to do the math, you're tripping. You've obviously never watched any of my videos because I would never do that ever. EXP randoms are going to be our saving grace for this entire grind. Any random that I get will go into smithing and that will save us a bunch of bar drops that we can ignore. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that my melee stats are probably going to be around level 85 by the time we are done with this grind. Leave your guess in the comments below. With the exception of attack, I will not be training attack. Very quickly want to knock out 15 fire making which was another chunk task but was so insignificant I didn't bother caring about it in the goals. I want to take the time to say what's up to my boy Zach. He stopped by. He was a really cool dude. Very cool as well as his buddy. His buddy's name was I believe Sam. Let me see if I have the clip with Sam. Yes Sam. Sam and Zach what's up man. Thanks for watching. Thanks uh, the entire gang for watching. Let me see if I can find the name of the, the gang. The gang's name was HV Spice, by the way. I, I didn't find it. My boy, One Dan Army came by. Thanks for subbing, bro. I really appreciate you. Thanks for paying me a visit as well. Just wanted to show you guys we're making good progress, right? Let's go ahead and make our brown scimitar again. Boom. And that is a seven something. We can now make the bronze foe helm, which is a good helmet for now, and the knives, which I'm going to be. After I make the bronze foe helm, I'll probably just be no lifing knives until we get like big armor cre uh, upgrades. Alright guys, I honestly don't want to overreact, but I do feel like this is a great moment for us. We are about to craft our second slot, and it's going to be the bronze square shield. Now, is this a tremendous upgrade? Um, let's run comparatives, right? So our defense bonuses, we have a one slash bonus with the scimitar. Then we got the bronze foe helm, which was our first upgrade but that mocked us up to four slab four stab six slash that's all good and great with the shield we finally hit 12 slash some good stab some good crush is it like fantastic no but like just by itself it's just such a massive upgrade so just very appreciative to now have this and it will be upgraded probably really soon but i'm hoping that it makes us much tankier and take a lot less damage during these grinds um, I'm going to just continue to stack the bronze knives and then when I finally feel like spending them I'll probably spend them on goblins because they have low defense so I'll do goblins and still passively working on that clue scroll grind I'm just waiting for a step once I get a Doric step I will no life it till I get another Doric step but I have not had that uh, since I got you here let's look at the stats we're looking at 48 strength 45 defense huge we're, just, we're basically a Zerker. Uh, one range, uh, but we got some EXP, and we are still one cast away from leveling up our magic. Um, this depends from completing Dork's quest, what, whatever, you already know that. Um, I have lamped this a little bit, but I've decided um, that it's a little bit counterintuitive, especially with how nasty this grind is. I'm gonna be using my lamps on smithing, and then once the smithing goal is complete, um, I will go ahead and I will start lamping this again um, So that's kind of where we're at here, but to full transparency. I've only had about three lamps in total in this uh, In this chunk well in, in these two chunks that I have I've only had three lamps total 
and two of them have gone into uh, Hunter just for like EXP costs, you know, like just getting the most out of a lamp. It feels better to put it in smithing, and I know a lot of people will be upset about that. That's great that I got a shield upgrade and I've been hit once. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's where I'm at right now. I will be putting them into smithing for the foreseeable future. And then, you know, we'll probably end up doing Hunter next chunk, or when, once we get close enough to this goal, we'll probably switch off. This is really unfortunate, but I just got rune javelins. That's... Oh man, if only you were able to use those as a weapon. That's crazy. I just got room javelins from a dwarf. That is rare drop table, and I think that is um let me let me check. Uh gosh. Yeah, that's rare drop table. That is 110% mega rare drop table. I am um not mega, just regular. Uh gem drop table rolling into the rare drop table. That is so sad. I'm so upset. In the chat, you can see that is level nine, and we can make a bronze warhammer, which I don't, I don't think I'm going to. I'll just stick to my bronze knives, I guess. Boom. And we've been using our bronze knives a little bit, but you know, 61's not bad. Nine, it, let's check out bronze. I don't think we get anything all the way, yeah. We get the battle axe at 10. 11 is the bronze chain body. I'm excited for 11. Once we get that bronze chain body, that's a lot. More defense we have, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. We just got a genie, which is why like that was possible at all. Is this not even? Like, give me a second. I don't know what happened. Yeah, this just this is on. That's so dumb. Oh, that's really frustrating that, that happened. Anyway, um, sorry guys. Yeah, I don't know why that happened like that, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we got we got a solid nine smithing, and I'm happy about it. And eleven is another big unlock, the bronze chain body, which will obviously give us a chest slot and give us more. But um, the reason we were able to get that level so fast was because we actually just got a genie, and I used that exp into uh, smithing. So super happy about that. As soon as we get to fifteen, I think this grind is gonna just like triple because then we get we get the ability to use our iron bars and even if we're just making daggers our next is going to be an upgrade but even if we're just making daggers it'll be um it'll be steady upgrades and i'm happy for it i'm happy for that time guys it's happened it's happened i got a maze random and there's a chest there's a chest okay here we go so this is what you do you go you go here what the fuck what, why, why, open the fucking door open the door there we go you open the chest and now it starts no, no, not bronze bolts, not bronze bolts. So now you don't click anything and you wait and I think it's a minute. And uh, after a minute, it will uh, close again and I can open it again. So I, I haven't got it. This is my first one. So I'm going to be here for a long time. This might get us set with some air runes to start off our magic training. That's going to be really, really good. If I can get like, and I know this is asking a lot, but if I can get like a thousand air runes here and some water runes and stuff like that. That will set us for a long time, but I will say this is going to take a long, long time. I think it takes a minute in-game time for this to close. So uh, once that closes, I open it up again. It's going to drain a percentage, and I'm going to get to loot this chest a whole bunch of times. So yeah, let's see if I could catch, catch it closing uh, probably any, any second now. I hope this wasn't patched. Was this patched? There it is. Open. Boom. Some earth runes. Let's go! Ah! Sorry. Okay, so this is actually devastating. It looks like um, my inventory might be full, so it's putting them in my bank. So this is actually, uh, this is just, it's really shit, unfortunately. Um, I thought that it would drop them on the floor when I was done with the event, but it's putting them in my bank. And this is the first air rune drop I've gotten, so it looks like whatever air runes I get from this really aren't going to help me in the long run. Alright, looks like we're coming up on the end of this. So I've been in here for, I probably I would probably say about an hour and a half, maybe even longer, honestly. I, I gotta look at the last clip to see how long I've been in here, but I've been in here for a hot minute. I wait for it to reset, and, and I do it, so I've got about two more minutes left in this. Um, the thing is, I'm looking at my random event timer, and I don't want to touch the timer, because if I go over here, it's going to 
uh, black out the screen, but uh, take my word for it. It says that my next event should be in 48 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, the, the timer's going up, so it's, it's well past my next event. So I'm curious on whether or not after I loot this chest and I get out of here, if I'll get another random event, or if this has fucked me over and now I'm gonna, not gonna get another random event for like another like two hours of game time. But um, I'm, I'm excited to see whether or not I get a random event after this. So I'm, oh fuck, shit, that's not what I meant to do. Well, um, yeah, I'm excited to see whether or not I get another random event after this, um, which is fine. And uh, if I do, I'm, I'm really hoping it's not another maze because I really don't want to sit here and do this again, especially now that I know that I'm not getting air runes. I would really like a quiz master so that I could uh, get a chance at that Mithril Scimitar or whatever other weapon it could be. Actually, the Steel Play Body, I'd probably be much happier with the Steel Play Body at this point because one, it's one of my, my chunk tasks, so yeah. And then uh, two, um, the, the Steel Play Body um, gives... Like, it gives good defense stats, and I'm not going to have that type of defense for a while unless I open up a casket. Not a casket. Yeah, open up a casket from a clue and get, like, uh, I don't know, like a black plate body or black plate legs or something like that. I'm not going to see defense stats like a steel plate body for a hot minute. Um, so I'm excited on potentially seeing that open up. It's empty, and we are kicked out. Boom. Why have we not been kicked out yet? Well, yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, so in another five minutes, I should probably have it. So we ended up, lots of fire runes, beautiful fire runes. 130 water runes, this is actually really important. Now I need to go get um, some air air runes. The the, the, the arrows are, are okay, 100 bronze arrows, one, 105 uh, iron arrows. I'll probably drop these, because uh, they're taking up a space, I don't want them. And I also decided while I was in there that I'm probably gonna use these knives and just let them go because I can always make more and it doesn't make sense to just hoard them so I'm gonna use them and uh, hopefully we get our next event in a little bit um, but we're gonna go try to get some air runes <clears throat> enough air runes to get from level one to level three so we can cast confuse I also wanted to tell you guys that I didn't record it I got a Bob the cat random but I, we got the fishing exp it would have been huge if I got that Bob the cat random and we got um, and, and instead of getting fishing, we get the magic EXP. That'd be really great. Um, and that right there was level four range. So thank me later, you know, congratulate me in the comments below. I'm doing so good. Um, but yeah, that's everything I've, I've, I've got to share with you guys for now. I've just been hard at work on my grinds. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get another grave digger random just so I could deposit some of this shit. Like, I don't want any of these cosmetics anymore. The only reason I grabbed them is because um, when you get all the cosmetics from one of these random events, you get EXP lamps after that. It used to be like 500 coins or something like that. Now you get EXP lamps, which is so much better. Um, so I've just been trying to, you know, collect all of them, deposit them at the Grave Digger whenever I can, and, uh, you know, take the... I hate to see these on the floor. I'm keeping, uh, and and take the things when I can get them. Take the the labs when I can get them. Take the cosmetics when I can get them. Just so that they're slowly uh, getting out of my inventory. Um, like I'm never gonna have boots and gloves. So if I can get like a glove slot, I'll probably be really happy uh, with like beekeeper gloves or something. But uh, the plate body, all this, is just it's not necessary for me to keep. Uh, even these iron bars, I'm, I'm second guessing. And this attack potion really doesn't matter, but I'll keep it for now. Yep, so that's the end of this. I'll show you guys when I get the next random event. If it's important, if it's just an EXP random, just know that I'm putting it in smithing. Uh, and if I have it at, at nine, if I'm that close to a level, I probably won't use it on uh, smithing right there. I'll probably hold on to it, go get a couple of bars. And because, uh, you know, uh, lamps are... are 10 times whatever your level is. So if I just waited till I'm level 10, it'll be 100 EXP instead of 90, which is almost an entire bronze bar saved. And getting those bronze bars sucks. So yeah, that's that's my mindset behind that. And that's what I'm telling you. Good shit, buddy. Oh my goodness, it's our first ever quiz master. Holy sugar. I'm so excited. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. Honestly, whatever he gives us, I'll be happy with. I'm just happy to have one. Uh, pick the odd one out. These are both gardening. That's a fish. What's this one? 
Get the odd one out. Uh, these are both gardening. It's a helmet. I would, I would love a spade. I wish you could get a spade from this. Pick the odd one out. These are both gardening. That is a ring. Last one. Pick the odd one out. These are both gardening. That's a battle axe. And I get the mystery box. And, you know, it's probably going to be like a cabbage. But whatever it is, it's a steel play body. Oh, shit. Steel play body. From the mystery box. 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 Steel play body. Ooh. No offense. Ooh. I'm a fucking tank. Look at me, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's go, baby. BIS for sure. Oh man, look at us. Oh man, well that really sucks because like I was gonna make a bronze chain body, so that kind of outshines that. But look at us, guys. Oh, I gotta, I gotta. You know, your boys gotta take a look at this. Your boys gotta take a look at this. And we got a full inventory of that, that good shit. All right, so let's take our, our, our defenses, right? We're looking at not like the our highest defense is slash with 12. 12 slash defense. We put this on. Boom! 40s, baby! What? A, oh, my God. Uh, no myth skim, but this is awesome. Oh, my gosh. Let's... Go! I'm so happy, and I'm so happy I recorded it. Cause when I saw him, I was like, "Is this the guy that's just gonna give me like, was this that helmet?" And then you're like, "Yeah," and then you know he gives you like some shitty, shitty like sapphire or something. Holy moly, guys, that is awesome sauce! Like, I'm so stoked about that. That's crazy. And you know what the best part is? That's like, that's like a. Uh... No, I mean I still have to get. I still have to make the the lantern. But that's, that's super awesome. And that's actually one of the chunk goals. So I will check that off later. Please don't let me forget. Actually, you guys can't really tell me not to forget. But you know what I mean. Like I, I have to remember that. Oh my goodness. We're a freaking monstrosity right now. I am a, a massive tank. I don't think I've taken any. I don't want to jinx it. But I don't think I've taken any damage. So if this is the way that this is working, then this is fantastic. That means that I can do this up until I can create like a plate skirt or plate legs. And then I can go to bears and probably knock out the first grind of the chunk, which is the the uh, the jug of wine grind. So I'm actually incredibly happy. Well, actually, the first grind of the chunk was cast airstrike, which I've done because I'm about to level up. Uh, and then the other grind was to, uh, you know, wear my best in slot plate body, which I've, I've done, uh, which is cool. Um, and that was, that was, I swear to God, that was my foot against the metal, and that was, I did not fart, I promise. Uh, but look at this, guys, we're just doing so, we did lose a little bit of health that one, we lost, like, four, but on average, like, was there, there are some kills where they don't hit us at all, which gives us plenty of time to regen, which means that eventually, once I make those plate legs, I will not need, uh, why does my guy do that? I will not need to, like, cook bear meat or anything like that to to elongate these trips, I might just be too tanky for them eventually. I probably should be on defense though. But I'm gonna get strength to 60, then defense to, to 60, then I'll probably start working on attack again. I don't really see a, <coughs> a reason to do attack because I can't really um, hit, I can't like get a dragon weapon yet. Like, I was told that you can't get the dragon spear until you finish leg le legends, le legends quest. I said legends. Um, until you finish Legends Quest, so since that's not really a, an option for me, I don't really know if it's worth my time, like, caring about it. Um, all I do know is that I am getting beginner clues from these dwarves. I'm getting the the bronze bars that I need, and I'm collecting some nature runes. The nature runes are probably going to be the biggest the biggest uh, thing for us, because super heat, once we unlock super heat, which won't be for a long time, I know, but once we unlock super heat, it's gonna it's gonna really speed up this grind. And especially once we're 15 smithing, oh man, once we're 15 smithing, it's gonna be so good because these trips will get much shorter because um, anytime that they drop the the iron bar, I can take that. Uh, anytime that they drop the iron, if I have super heat, I can turn that into an iron bar so I can take that. So it'll it'll really really speed it up. And the good thing about super heat is that it doesn't have a chance to fail. Like when you're making iron, sometimes it has a chance to fail, a 50% chance. 
Um, but when you superheat, it bypasses that because you spent the runes, I guess. So you don't fail. So any piece of iron is just an additional 25. I think 25? Might even be more. Like probably around like 40 EX. No, probably like, probably like 30 EXP. Because you probably get like 12.5 for making the iron bar and then probably another 12.5 for making it into a knife. I don't know, a lot of speculation. But guys, super stoked about the body. I know I can't stop talking about it. That took a while, but I was able to do it the entire time. Just a little bit of food in my inventory. Look, and we were at 41 HP. Realistically, we didn't need the food. Um, we never really got knocked under the, the 35 HP threshold. So the steel plate body, immediate, immediately big uh, upgrade for me. Uh, I'm really I'm really debating throwing these on the floor. I'm pretty sad about it, but um, I might throw these on the floor just for more runes. But look at this, we got 4, 8, 12, 12 times, probably 12, right? I think like 12.5. We got a bunch. We got a bunch of knives here, so we're gonna go ahead craft these into knives, uh, and then head right back up. So I am pretty stoked about this. It doesn't look like we need any food. Um, we are still very far away from the uh, 15 that we need. Once we get 15, we can make iron daggers, and you know we'll have a, an upgrade in the iron scimitar eventually, uh, further down in the future. Very, very far in the future. Very, very far in the future. If we're being real. But uh, we have some upgrades coming up in the future, so that's pretty exciting for us. Um, but besides all that, you know, I'm just really, really grateful for the steel plate. I don't know, man. I feel like I was thanking you guys for the steel plate body, even though you guys didn't really do anything. You didn't give me the steel plate body. You know, the mystery guy gave me it. But I'm just so happy to have it, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an absolute tank. You know, the, the 50 defense, I'm feeling like I have 50 defense now. You know, before everything was hitting me, like these these dwarves would hit me at two. Now I'm just a man of steel. Like, unironically, a man of steel. Look at us, man. Base four, 40 defense is crazy. For the steel play body's got some pretty good stats, man. I'm excited. Anyway, we're going to craft these up into, well, smith these up into bronze knives, like I said previously. Uh, I don't know why I re reiterate things so much, but... This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, the next upgrade that we get, which is going to be a small upgrade, is the, the bronze uh, square shield. We will be retiring it eventually, and we're going to be turning it into a bronze kite shield, which probably would give me, like, I don't know, plus two defense. It'll probably give me defense somewhere and then take away defense somewhere else. I'm not really too worried about it. The steel plate body is making up for, like, all sorts of weaknesses in my armor. Um, ooh. It doesn't look like we get a level off this inventory. I did my math wrong. Uh, but still super good. Still super good. If we get an EXP random, we'll get a, a, a level. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm debating on dropping the Bronze Axe. Because I can just make one whenever I need it. So yeah, I will drop the Bronze Axe. I don't need it right now. I need the Tinderbox. The Tinderbox is important. Uh, but yeah, we are we are good. And yeah, oh, God, I... I've been collecting the bronze bolts for such a long time, it feels bad to drop them on the floor, so I will hold on to them for a little bit longer. But more realistically, the, the bronze arrows are probably going to end up being um, what we end up using. Let me just do a little bit of research, right? If I get this, is there a stove in this chunk? There is not a kitchen in this chunk, so even, even in this chunk, I don't... Oh, wait. Is this all one chunk? Is the phallet a place? This is... This, this doesn't have a kitchen? That's so weird. Um, the reason I need a kitchen uh, in particular is that... Oh, shit. The giant mole. Yeah, we don't have to deal with that yet. That, that hasn't happened yet. But if I get a, uh, a kitchen, I can take the, the bear meat, turn it into a crossbow, and I can use these bronze bolts for some more EXP. But um, that's really not that important. It's not, not here or there. Um, I'm going to take a break from the smithing grind. That's kind of how I've been doing it, just so I can exist and not uh, hate this. But I'm going to take a break from the smithing grind and kill some of these guys. See if I can get that. Oh, he hit me. That makes me very sad. Uh, see if I can get that uh, air rune drop, because it has been a very long time. I don't know how many guards it's been, but I'll tell you guys in the next clip. Okay, apparently I can interact with that now without closing it. Uh, for guards, we are looking at... In total, I have killed 139, which it just doesn't seem... I don't, I don't think I've killed 139. That seems kind of crazy. 
um, 100, yep, 139, it just went up to 140. And in those 140 kills, we've only received the total of 12 air runes. See, that's the thing. That's why um, the, the, the task of, um, of magic, I decided to just make it cast airstrike because it's, it's so few and far between that it's unrealistic for me to train uh, magic like that unless I get an air staff. So in the event that I get an air staff or I get a, um, you know, if I'm able to do a clue and I, I can get an air staff, in the event of that, I will uh, I'll grind magic. But as of right now, just these guys as, as the, the main drop source for runes, it's just not worth it. And as I'm saying that out loud, yeah, that's not worth it. Let's just go ahead and just stay focused and get back to that dwarf grind because uh, that's really going to speed everything up. And I just dropped my fucking axe. I forgot I needed that to make food. Okay, well, we're going to do this, this trip without food. That's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I think this is gonna be it for me today. We have the bronze chain body, which would have been awesome, but we now have the steel full, well, the steel plate body, so we don't really need that. Sorry, my cat. Um, so that's 85 bronze knives, and it is 11:15 uh, p.m. and I have work tomorrow, so it looks like I'm logging off for the day. But it was a very eventful day. I'll probably end up editing this all up into episode 2.1 and. Uh, We'll continue from there. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I know it was a bit of a different pacing this episode. I'm really trying to get my my stuff down with editing and things like that. I'm trying a little bit harder with YouTube. I do appreciate all the views and all the support. You guys have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. You don't have to, but it helps the channel out a lot and I'll love you for it. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.